too well drawn in four for Charlie Liston, but uh, far side start, and you've got the call, of course. Yeah, I think I'd go with the favourites today. The truth, truth is Eugene, unfortunately off the track after a little rest, but hopefully back to its best tonight. It's been heavily supported, considering it's 4-1 in the offices this morning, down to 7-4 favourite here, back on track as well. They were taking the twos, as you saw. The last couple going in there, track three, $10 more who's having its first look here at uh, Sheffield. That also is the case of Boys of Winter. I don't think it will affect Boys of Winter so much because that Greyhound looks as though it gets outpaced early, as we saw at Nottingham, but it might affect $10 more not having a look here. Let's find out. The hair is on the move for the Betfair Casino Superstayers. We're racing over 720 metres. And there they go, racing up towards the first bend there, and two, Tessie's Blue Boy out fast, leads up early, Greedy Bridey is handy on the outside, half these trying to make a, a route through on the inside for itself is three, ten dollars more, and it's run the first two bends wonderfully, what do I know about a Greyhound looking at the track for the first time? It's ten dollars more leading here, but here comes Droopy's Eugene in its shadow around that third bend, half these a break back to four, Carbone's Tom, and then comes six, Greedy Bridey as they head down the far side, ten dollars more, quickens again from the front, leads by two and a half legs as they come down towards the second half, Ben, Droopy's Eugene in second, not making any impression here. Droopy's Eugene looks tired to come around that final bend, and it's all ten dollars more for Chris Olson. A five length leader here around the final bend from four carbons. Don doing some good late work, and back in third was Greedy Friday, but that was easy for ten dollars more. Took up the lead and won so impressively 